Hello and welcome to Have Guitar. I hope you are doing great. This is the first video after my summer break, uh, and there are going to be some changes to the channel. And that changes, I just want to say this real quick before we get on with the detailed lesson, and that is I will not do one video a week because I won't have time to it. So I think there'll be one video every second week or every fortnight. During the summer I haven't done very much at all. I've got an awesome ace tattoo which I think I've shown already in one of the playing examples so that I'm sure you can see that when I twiggle my arm like that. Uh, I've been taking it very easy. I've had some problems with my eyes, some uh, eye infection of some kind which really won't go away and that's really disturbing. Usually I try to put in some you know the quotes on, on the KISS uh, lessons for the KISS songs and that's kind of easy because I've read lots of books by or about KISS uh, and I know lots of stuff about KISS because I've been listening to them some, since 1976. For Def Leppard I feel like whatever I try to look up they are talking about hysteria and I don't like hysteria. It seems like hysteria is Def Leppard's Destroyer because KISS will always refer back to Destroyer like that's the golden thing which I kind of agree about but they did not think so at the time when it was released. Uh, it's really hard to find any interesting information about uh, High and Dry as the album is called. Uh, this is the second album from Def Leppard and according to me it's the best album. It's on the border to being slightly overproduced but it's still a great hard rock album Great songs. Uh, I also like Pyromania, but that's definitely overproduced. Um, but also, I, I've come to realize why I never liked Hysteria, and that is because Steve Clark wrote all the songs, all the riffs at least, uh, up till Pyromania, uh, and then he so sadly passed away, just 30 years old. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm gonna say goodbye now, even though you will see more after this clip. Let's play. So the fundamentals for this song when it comes to the rhythm guitars is not that hard at all actually. Uh, in the intro I've set the volume on the guitar for about three and uh, then you just play that opening riff which starts off with the G power chord. Then So then when the song gets going you just turn up the volume and play it like Actually I think there are two guitars on the original One seems to just play the tone Well it plays the extra notes as well but it's more like Like open without any damping and I think there's another guitar in the background doing the jumping, chugging, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, that's that part. Uh, you also have a little thing that they do. They go down to uh, F, C, B. So uh, you play it like... And so on. Uh, you'll have to listen to the song to see when exactly that comes in. Then when the lead part starts it's G, D sharp, C, G sharp. So it's like... Then for the ending you have G, A sharp, high G, G, A sharp, high F, G, A sharp, D sharp. So it's... And then back to G. you have those something like that now I'm gonna go tune the guitar again <laughs> 
All right, so then you have the lead or the melody or whatever you want to call it. It's not the straight out real lead. Uh, more like a melody that lifts up the song and lets it fly away somewhere. So I'm not going to go into specific notes or frets. You can see that on the tabs on screen right now, I hope. Otherwise I have failed miserably. But uh, anyway, I'm going to play it slowly. So the first part goes like this. <laughs> next iteration of this uh, melody or the lead and it's like Okay, so then you move up to the 12th fret uh, and then it goes like this. Then it changes just a little bit into this. And then you have the end solo, uh, which is more of a solo, and which I'm not, uh, I really don't think I can replicate exactly what I played uh, on my recording because I improvised quite a lot. But it starts off with like a riff. <laughs> I just play something Penta stuff. And then you have those breaks where the rhythm and the bass plays. I'll try to play both uh, and we'll see how that goes. So I'm gonna give you a little bass lesson without playing the bass because uh, I'm lazy and we can just do it with the guitar. What does the bass play? The bass plays a G. For 99% of the song. The bass follows the guitars on that thing on F so it's... That's one variation. Uh, the bass also follows the rhythm guitars when the lead or the melody comes in. In the end the bass plays the same thing as the guitars, only not chords or power chords. It's uh, G. A sharp, high G, G, A sharp, high F, or if you want to play it low, you can. Maybe I did on my recording, I don't remember. And then it's. And then back to G. I think you know the drill by now. 